Hey guys, welcome. Thanks for watching. Today I have an eyeshadow look for you using Natasha Denona's Camel palette. Now it is new. Um, now I really wanted to try Natasha Denona colors basically because it is so expensive. So I wanted to see whether the quality is really up to par. So that's basically why I bought that. I actually went in to buy the Sunset palette, which I've been dying to find for a long time now. So they've re issued that um, and that's it there it's absolutely stunning so we'll be doing a couple of looks with that as well um, so I did buy go in initially to buy that and I did know about the camel palette and I did want to buy that as well so um, so that's the colors there so this is the look that I came up with so if you're interested in this tutorial then keep watching don't forget to subscribe if you like click on the like button as you're watching so we'll get into the makeup okay so I'm going into the transition and crease area initially with the lightest color in the palette which is Safari just on a large blending brush make sure you tap off the excess this color is still a quite a dark color so I don't want anything really dark up in here right up underneath your eyebrow right out to the outer corner and down into the outer corner there so you can see on me that's still quite dark in that area so that's probably all about the only amount of product I need in there and just continue to blend that so just be careful that so far that's the very first time I've gone into this palette and that is very pigmented color so I'm going right down into the inner corner and just blending that out Now I had already gone ahead and primed my eyes with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and let that sit. And you really do need to let that sit for a few minutes otherwise if you go in too early it just, it, your shadow and especially if you go in too early with too much product on your brush that product will just stick and be so hard to blend out. Okay so I'll go in with the second darkest colour which is Arosto on the end there. It's a real camel colour. It's on a Dose of Colours blending brush just on the tip, tap off the excess, got hooded eyes so I always look down trying to find a non-existent crease so I make one basically where the <clears throat> lash line meets the hood there now I can see where I really want that put and I'll go in and just place a little bit more product and blend that I'll just go back in with that very first color and just blend around the edge of that so I'm going back into that same color on a MAC 217 just on the tip just to define that color a little bit more so I'm not blending this out too much Okay, so into the darkest colour now, which is Zand on the end there, on a tapered blending brush. <coughs> so I'm going into the outer corner. Now I do want to relax my eyes, seeing as I have hooded eyes. So I don't want that dark colour to go any lower than the actual corner of my eye. So I relax there. Do the other one at the same time. And then you can open your eye out and actually go in and fill that gap in. So that's on an angle there. Going slightly up into that crease and then over onto the lid, just blending it across. This is a pretty dark color so if you're not used to dark colors just going little by little do that anyway it just blends a lot easier I 
I'm just blending that very point there up. <clears throat> and just slightly into that crease area with no extra product there, just blending that product along. Sort of like a, probably about a third of the way in. Now if you're using a tapered blending brush like that to actually place the product and you find that you're struggling with actually blending it, go in and blend as much as you can with that because it's great to actually blend across the lid with. And then just go in with a smaller blending brush, a little bit fluffier and just do your circular motions and don't go outside that area that you've actually created. But just do some circular motions to actually bring that colour back out onto the lid there. And I'm just going to go back into that large blending brush and just blend along, along that edge there. Just to make it a little bit more soft. Don't bring it down too far. Okay, so I want to use the shimmer shades in the palette. So there's a quite light that colour there that's called Copper Stone. And then this one here is a bronze which is called June. So I want to get the most of the colour out. So I'm going to go in with my P. Louise base in number two. Um, put a little bit on my hand there and what I'm going to do is use a Makeup Forever 240 brush which is a quite domed brush, really quite dense and flat. So I don't know if you can see the end there, it sort of comes right in and tapered. So I'm going to load up my brush both sides and flatten it down as much as I can get it basically. So both sides and on the tip and then I'm going to go in and follow, just follow that crease line up, so just placing your product down or your brush down flat. And I want to make sure I've gone up high enough so I really want to pop a little dot in there to make sure that that's, if it's going to transfer it, will only transfer onto the colour itself. So if you've got hooded eyes, make sure you do go up high enough there. Now I'm not being too pedantic about cutting the crease as such. I just really want to place this product down to get the most out of that shimmer colour. And then I'll go into the shimmer colours. So I'm going to use again today a sponge instead of my finger. I just have long fingernail so I really can't get into the product. Now I really want to make that a little bit more of a dome shape there. Okay, so first going in with the lightest colour, a creamy colour. It's called copper stone, but it's definitely not copper. So going in with my sponge, a little bit of product on there, and then into that inner corner. Oh, that's beautiful. So that sponge gives you the effect of using your finger um, but not, or wetting your brush as well. And then into the other side, so I'll go into that bronze colour which is called June. I'm just going to mesh those two together by going backwards and forwards over that area. Okay, back into a blending brush. I'm just going to go back over that blend area there and just blend those two colours together. 
and then back in with the darker color So I'm going to go in on the bottom lash line first up with the Marc Jacobs Brownie, I think this one's called, eyeliner. So in the waterline. And just on the lash line. Okay, so going back in with a darker color. Now this is just a pencil brush from Too Faced. So I'm just going along that dark eyeliner and then I'm going to smudge it out with a Real Techniques shading brush and then on the same brush I'm just going in with that lightest colour in the palette and just blending that out a bit further. Okay, so I'll finish up the other eye, I'll pop some mascara and some lashes on and I'll come back and we'll talk about the palette. And lashes make such a difference to your look. It's unbelievable. So I went in uh, with some mascara, so I used my, as usual, MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, which I love to death. Um, and then pop some lashes on. So I use the House of Lashes Iconic Minis. So I do have small eyes. So if I go in with the normal Iconics, they're just way too full on and just look silly. I mean, this is just on the border of too much for me, but I do like them a lot. Um, and then I did some Marc Jacobs Blacker Eyeliner in the tight line area. I missed a little bit there. So I'm just about to go in with an inner corner highlight. So this is from Colourpop <clears throat> Smoke and Whistles. So just on a pencil brush, just in the very inner corner. I just feel like it needs a little bit more shimmer. Um, I'll pop a price in the description bar for Australia for, for this. Um, I didn't buy it at Sephora. It's not in there yet in Australia. So I did go on to Beautylish, I'm pretty sure. So I'll pop the Australian price in there for you as well. Um, and then I'm pretty sure sephora.com has that in stock already. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below whether you like it or not. Um, I do like it. It's definitely a nighttime look for me. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe. Click on the notifications bell so you're notified when I upload more content. Keep being the best version of you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.